Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number six in my JavaScript series and in this video what I want to talk to you guys about is operators. So I've got it written up there. Now if you guys are confused and you don't know what an operator is, well let me explain. It's basically all those plus and minus symbols that you see whenever you are writing a maths equation. Okay, so let's start off by making two variables and I'm going to make one variable called apples and I'm going to set that equal to 5. Then I'm going to make another variable called pi and I'm going to set that equal to 3. Okay, now what I want to do is I just want to cover addition and subtraction, the, the, the addition and subtraction operators, okay? which is pretty simple and uh, it's basically just the plus sign to add and the minus sign to uh, subtract. So let's go ahead and make a variable here and we can call it apple pi and we set this equal to uh, apples plus pi and what this does is it adds the number 5 to the number 3 and we'll land up with the answer of 8. So let's go ahead and print this out on the screen, document.write and we can write the word apples. So go ahead and save this and uh, if we run this in Firefox then we should get the number hmm, oh, I've printed apples instead of apple pie. Okay. Go ahead and save this and when we run this in Firefox we should get the number 8 printed on the screen. So as you can see JavaScript does indeed use the plus symbol to add two numbers together. And that's the same with the minus symbol. If you go ahead and just uh, use the minus sign then those two would subtract and we get the answer 2. Okay, now what I actually want to talk to you guys about is uh, the multiplication sign because that's a little bit different to what you might expect. Um, so whenever you have to multiply a number in JavaScript you don't use like a letter X or anything like that. What you actually do is you use the asterisk symbol which is the little star if you hold shift and push number 8 then you get the little star uh, which then says 5 times 3 which means that we should get the answer 15 printed out on our screen. So let's go ahead and click refresh here and we've now got 15. So JavaScript does indeed use this asterisk symbol to multiply two numbers together. And what about divide you may ask? Well to divide two numbers you use the forward slash. So now we can go ahead and divide 5 by 3 and we'll get the answer 1.66666 whatever okay so 1.6 recurring and uh, that's pretty much how to divide two numbers but those were all pretty basic those are all pretty simple now what I want to talk to you guys about is something called modulus and some of you guys are probably thinking what the heck what is modulus well modulus is the remainder of two values okay or two numbers so let's say we have five and we've got three okay if I divided five by three you saw I got 1.666 but what if I didn't want a decimal number what if I actually wanted the remainder of the two numbers well three goes into five once which means we have a remainder of two okay so when we want to work with modulus in JavaScript we use the percent sign okay so apples percent pi means apples mod pi okay which is 5 mod 3 and that should equal 2 so let's go ahead and refresh this and as you can see we have 2 printed out on the screen so that's pretty easy actually and uh, if you guys are still confused we could choose some other numbers so let's say I had 4 and I had 12 okay 4 goes into 12 exactly 3 times 
which means that there is no remainder. So let's go ahead and click refresh here. And as you can see, we've got zero printed out on the screen. So that is correct. Okay. Now I actually just want to change these back to five and three. And we can talk about something else called increment and decrement. Okay. So what I actually want to do is just uh, turn this back to add again as well. Okay. So now we've got apple pie is apples plus pie, which is eight. Okay. We know that to be eight, but what, I, what, if, what if I wanted to add one to apple pie just before I printed it out? Well, I can use the increment value to add one to apple pie. So let's go ahead and type in our variable name here, which is apple pie. And what I could do now is use the increment symbol, which is actually two plus signs, and then end it off with my semicolon. And what this means is apple pie plus one. So we know apples is or apple pie is equal to eight. Now plus one, that will be nine. So let's go ahead and click refresh here. And as you can see, we've got nine printed out on the screen. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I can add one to a number very easily. Well, what happened if I wanted to minus one from my variable really easily? Well, that's is called decrement. And that I can do with two minus symbols. So if I go ahead and say apple pie minus minus, then what this does is it subtracts one from apple pie. So we know apple pie is eight over here. Now, after this line, it should be equal to seven. So let's go ahead and uh, go back to Firefox and click refresh. And as you can see, we now have seven printed on the screen. Okay, so that's all quite easy. And uh, what I want to talk to you guys about now are assignment operators. Okay, so the most common assignment operator that we work with in JavaScript is actually the equal sign. We've, you can see we've been using it the whole time. Okay, so the equal sign is called the assignment operator. And what that does is it like you've seen for the past few tutorials is it assigns this value to that variable okay so whatever it assigns whatever's on the right to whatever variable is on the left so that's pretty simple and uh, we've been doing it the whole time but what happened if we wanted to use something called an a compound assignment operator well what we could do there is uh, if if I deleted this line, I could actually just add apples to pie another way. And what I could do is I could type my variable apples. And then if I put in the plus and then the equal sign, what this is, is the compound addition operator. So it's going to take apples and plus it and assign whatever value is on the right. So let's say I said apple pie or apples plus equals pie. And then I printed out apples down here on the bottom apples. We should now get eight again, but we've just done it a different way. So let's go ahead and run this in Firefox. And there we go. We've got eight. Okay. So basically, this just means compound addition. So instead of creating a new variable, what we did was we just used the one we had existing over here and added three with this symbol over there. Okay. And that's pretty um, easy to understand. So what if I wanted to minus uh, or what's it compound subtraction? I could then go ahead and say minus equals and that will take five and minus three and then assign that variable that value to apples so we can use minus equals as compound subtraction and we can even use multiplication equals to uh, basically multiply five by three and then the new variable or the new value is stored in the, the variable apples and then again we can do the same thing with divide 
So they all have their own compound assignment operator as well. Okay, so that's uh, quite cool. And that's pretty much all I had to talk to you guys about in this tutorial. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to sign up on my forum.